Hey, STA, Miss R here, and I'm with a few of my friends, some of whom you might recognize, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Hello, this is Mr. A reporting live. I'm the school social worker at St. Thomas Aquinas. Hi, everybody. My name is Miss Dawson, and I am your new child and youth counselor for the school year. Um, I'm excited to be here and a little bit nervous, but I'm um, excited to get started. And as you can relate, uh, or maybe you can't, STA, um, we are trying to help Ms. Dawson uh, to kind of get to know you. That's why we're doing this new platform, new, new thing, because uh, it's kind of tough to start a new job when we're all in isolation and we're not at the school. So this is our way of reaching out to you and letting you know who's in your corner. And the three of us, we're here for you. So let's do a check and how are you guys doing? Well, for me, I'm doing well. Um, we're all social distancing right now, so just really getting comfortable being at home, which is very difficult, but really just trying to create a routine for myself so I could adjust. I mean, having a chance to wake up and dress up this morning to come on cameras, I'm very excited about that. So, um, yeah, that's it. Is that your highlight for, for the day? It's my highlight for the day, getting a chance to wake up, dress up, um, and pretend that I'm leaving the house, you know? Um, it's always exciting, but it's something to get used to. Um, but slowly, one day at a time. For sure. Ms. Dawson, how are you doing? Yeah, we're managing. I think it was a big transition for me. Um, I just had a baby a year ago, so I was coming back from mat leave and going into high school, which I've never done before. So um, then this all happened, and um, we're just kind of taking it one day at a time. I have two kids, and one of them is in JK, so trying to keep her busy with her schoolwork and, you know, seeing her teachers online as well so I'm kind of experiencing it from both ends it's been um it's been interesting it's been learning for me for sure and um I think too like Mr. A said just having some sort of normalcy like getting dressed and ready for a day for the day um just trying to keep some things normal I guess in all of this yeah I'm, I'm the same with uh, well, Mr. A, I, have, I don't have kids, so I don't know all the stresses you're dealing with, but trying to get a structure, trying to go to bed early, uh, which I'm not succeeding at very well, uh, trying, trying to get a, that routine, because I find I am spending a lot of my day on the computer trying to do everything, and so the balance isn't really there. Because we're no, not used so to it. Yes, yeah. we're not used to it. It's something that we're all slowly going to adjust to. And I'm sure some of the students watching this platform are also kind of dealing with some of the challenges of kind of creating a routine for themselves. Um, if you're a person that's used to waking up early in the morning um, or going to bed early, you know, right now, because you're not using the same type of energy, what's happening is it's very difficult for you to kind of keep that same routine. So you have to find other ways to kind of use, utilize that energy sometimes it's through exercise, which, which is something you can even do at home. Um, and really, sometimes you just have to get the mind tired, you know, through activities such as reading, doing your homework, or for us, you know, trying to do as much work as we can so that we kind of create that same type of exhaustion that allows us to feel rested at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I, exactly. I actually dusted off my old bike and started trying to go for a bike ride at least three times a week by myself, nobody else. You know, the other day I started walking and, you know, then I kept walking and about an hour later, I felt like Forrest Gump. I couldn't stop walking, you know? I found myself just really enjoying exploring the community that I live in because I've never really had the time to just kind of get out, breathe the fresh air. I'm given I had my mask on, so even the air was even a lot better when I put the mask on. So really just kind of um, going out. Um, I found so much pleasure in just walking in the community and you know, I had comfortable shoes on. And honestly, I think I probably went out for two and a half, three hours. and. I wow. came home and I was well tired. Yes. It felt like, you know, a full workout. Literally, like, at the end of my walk, I wanted to call an Uber, but I'm like, you know, I just kept pushing it. But because um, I went so far away from my home, you know, and I have, then I had to kind of journey back. But really, um, I'm finding that just kind of utilizing some of that energy and um, creating a, an experience with the exercise, you know, going for different, changing up my routine, going different directions is kind of helping me stay active. And um, at the end of the day, find... Um, enough things to do throughout my day that puts me to bed at yeah, that's time. Good. whenever I go for a long walk I'm always t uh, keeping in mind all right I got to return home so <laughs> where do I go because I still have the return trip to do 
So kudos to you for just pulling a Forrest Gump and just walking and walking and walking. Oh man, it was not easy. I, I, I was in pain the next day, but um, it, it, was it was definitely worth it. It was good pain. Yeah. Now, um, what do you miss the most of being in the school? Well, right now, um, you know, I really miss seeing the faces. You know, I think I never really appreciated so much just how inspiring it is to wake up and go into a place with a thousand people um, and you know, the energy, the conversations, all those little things that really kind of help bring light to your life. You know, um, okay. being at home right now, although I'm not alone, it's not the same thing as being around people, you know, the people that give you so much energy, which is the students that are my colleagues. Um, so that's what I miss the most. I'm really being able to be around all that energy, basketball games. Right now, we'll be getting ready for track and field. These are all things that I wish I was able to be there and, you know, kind of watch and witness. Um, but, you know, these are unprecedented times, so I also understand what's going on. Yeah. How about you, Miss Dawson? I mean, you haven't really experienced high school, but what do you miss about being in school, being with students? I think it's same, but even like this time of year, it's spring you're feeling kind of like re-energized and the things like track and field are starting and you know for those that are graduating they're kind of gearing up to do that part and I just always loved like the I guess the aura of the school during this time of year and absolutely the face-to-face -face connecting with people you know seeing my students and being able to you know walk down the halls and just say hello to people. That's, I, I echo both what you, you guys have said. I miss, you know, the camaraderie. I, I miss running into people in the hallway or, you know, doing class visits or, you know, joking with staff in the morning and you know, at lunch. I, I just miss that interaction. It's not the you know, same on here. Yeah. It's great. No. I love it. Uh, but it's just not the same. Yeah. You know, the thing is, um, I was really looking forward to this year's graduation. Mm. Um, it's always a highlight for the year uh, for me personally. And so um, I'm really kind of, you know, still adjusting to um, us not having a graduation and not being able to be a part of that. But um, once again, you know, um, I know it would have been a great time and I'm hoping I get an opportunity to still connect with some of those students who are going to be moving forward. You know, it's to, to um, add to that, it's something sweet to see these, you know, those students and some of you are watching uh, and we help you get to grad and then we get to see you walk on that stage and what a sense of accomplishment. And mm -hmm. you know, like Mr. A said, it's such, uh, it just fills me with such pride to see you guys graduate. And it is sad that we won't be able to see that or be part of prom or the grad brunch, all that. Uh, I'm gonna miss that too, yeah. Um, well, I think because Ms. Dawson's new, uh, there's the set of questions that if you ever watched inside the actor studio, the interviewer, I forget his name, James something, and he passed away recently, but he would always end the inter interviews with these questions to just keep it lighthearted. So I wanna ask uh, Ms. Dawson these questions, I'm gonna ask Mr. A these questions, and then Ms. Dawson will ask me these questions, just so you get a sense right, of who you are, and not just always so professional. So Ms. Dawson, what is your favorite word? Favorite word, I would have to say, that as I was thinking about some of these questions, I think they change, I think, as we do different things and like life changes, our words change. And um, for me right now, my favorite word is beautiful and it's such a simple word, but um, my daughter, she's four and she just recently discovered this word. So it's, everything is beautiful to her. So mama, you're so beautiful. Oh, look, it's so beautiful outside. So right now that's my favorite word, especially during these times it kind of just it definitely puts a smile on my face nice what is your least favorite word so uh, this is a, my daughter is also driving this word and the word is disgusting because she uses it for everything 
<laughs> we are outside on a walk and she sees something in front of her and it's disgusting. So I'm trying to teach her what the word actually means and that it's okay to use it, but not all the time, especially when I make her dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. So everything is beautiful and everything is disgusting. <laughs> there's, a, there's a paradox. What gets you moving in the morning? You know what, honestly, um, my commute to work, my commute to work is an hour. And after I drop the kids off at daycare, I turn the music up loud. I'm the crazy person you see singing loudly to the music. And that's how I start my day. Okay. And what is a pet peeve of yours? Oh, I have so many. And I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> I have so many. Um, I think even just right now, um, I'm going out of my way to say hello to everybody when I'm walking down the street, because why not, right? Yeah. And when they don't say hello back, it grinds my gears. Yeah. What sound do you love? Um, I would say, I feel like it's like so sappy and silly, but it's honestly like the ocean waves, like the sound of that it's just so calming and I have a cottage, um, not up north, but in, on Lake Erie and those waves just bring me relaxation. Yeah. Uh, what sound do you hate? Snoring. I hate it and it, it gets in my ear and I can't, it's just something I can't tolerate. Interesting. What profession other than yours would you like to attempt? Um, I think it would have to be something that involved like travel to different countries. I really haven't had a lot of experience traveling. And I know that one day, perhaps when I'm retired, my husband and I might do that, but something where I'm, you know, able to see the world. Nice. What profession would you not like to do? You know what, as much as I feel like actors and actresses and all of those people have it made, I would not like to live that life mm. at all. The spotlight just constantly have you. somebody always watching you and following you and it's just not, I don't do well in front of groups anyway. So that would not be the profession for me. And last question. <clears throat> if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? I thought about this one long and hard and I thought about it in a couple of different contexts, I guess. Um, one of them was you took forever to get here, meaning that hopefully I live a long life. And the other one was um, just around like, you know, here you go. Your loved ones are waiting type thing. Nice. Nice. Okay. Mr. A, your turn. Yes. What you know what? I didn't get it. I I didn't get a chance to review these questions before, so bear that with me. Might, that might be good too. We're, we're, yes, gonna uh, see, we're gonna see what you come up with. What is your favorite word? My favorite word, you know, just thinking about it is love. You know, I'm a very passionate person. I'm the type of person that, um, you know, when I'm hooked onto something, I, do, I instantly love it. Um, whether it's the things I do, um, the, then the challenge is sustaining that same passion and love for it, right? So um, I love just so much things in nature. I like just getting around. I get intrigued very quickly. Um, so I just, I'm, I'm a very passionate person. That's what keeps me alive. So um, that whole process of, you know, having that deep passion and affection for something is something that really um, drives me. Good. What is your least favorite word? Um, I think for me is can't. Mm. I really struggle when people tell me I can't. You know, the word can't is really, I find this a lot yeah. of times um, when not used in the right context, you know, we send messages to the universe that stops us from doing a lot of things. Um, so can't is a word that I try as much as possible to eliminate from my vocabulary. And what gets you moving in the morning? For me, um, if I get a good workout in, um, that changes my day. Um, I find that you know, physical activity is something that really kind of helps me. So even like in the morning, 6 a.m. every day now, I just always go for a walk. Even if I can't go far, um, 15 minutes, I go and turn around and come back. It really helps me. 
And what is a pet peeve of yours? A pet peeve of mine is, you know, um, I'm a bit OCD, you know, so whenever I'm in spaces where things are messy or people are messy per se, or people take my, my things and don't put them back where they're supposed to, it really affects me, especially now during, Sing it. <laughs> yep. especially now during, you know, uh, social, you know, isolation, you're indoors and I find like I'm trying so much to be organized. So when I find that things are not being done the right way, it really bugs me. Okay. Uh, I think, uh, Ms. Dawson, I could relate to that. Uh, what sound yeah, do you, get along uh, what sound, Say it again, please. what sound do you love? Music. I'm a music person. Um, and oh my God, I live for music. Music keeps me alive. You know, anybody that knows me, like my neighbors here, I live in a condo. Everybody's always listening to my playlist and they're like, Oh, I love that. What are you listening to today? You know, I'm always challenging just different types of music. So for me, I, love, I can't be alone without music. Okay. What sound do you hate? Teeth grinding. The grinding of the teeth. You know? Oh yeah. When people grind their teeth. It, it really uh, gets to me. Okay. What profession other than yours would you like to attempt? You know, um, other than my own, I love what I do. One, um, I had dreams of being a lawyer. I had dreams of being an accountant, but I think as I grown up, I realized that, um, I love just even like you, you said acting was not something you'd love to do Neely. Um, I wish I had the confidence to be on TV and speaking more, um, so some kind of speaking or um, or acting, I'll love it. Because I love, you know, I think I have a lot of passionate energy that I would love to kind of, you know, try different roles. I could totally see it. I could see it. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're a good talker, for sure. Yeah. What profession would you not like to do? You know, I come from a, a family where everybody's into medicine, you know. My mother is a physician. My older brother's a physician. My younger brother's in pharmacy. Uh, my grandmother is into a lot of nurse. I do not like anything I have to do with blood. Um, I don't know <laughs> my exposure um, or because of the people around me, but yes. Um, anything that has to do with those kind of fields, I don't know why, but I'm not intrigued by it. Oh, I can't handle when kids talk about broken bones and pins being yeah. inserted. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah. All right. No, 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 Last no, question. No. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Welcome home, my son. Beautiful. All right, yes. Ms. Dawson, do you mind asking me these questions? Absolutely. Okay, so let's start with your favorite word. My favorite word would have to be hello. There's an excitement with meeting someone or meeting up with people, especially now. Uh, I just love that. Hello. I like that. Something so simple, right? Yeah. But your least favorite word. Goodbye. Those are kind of cheesy, but. No, not at all. Saying goodbye oh, very... sucks. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking about how who knew that March 13th would be the last time we saw each other, probably for mm. several months. That's mm -hmm. it. Right? Like, I'm, I miss the kids and I just, you know, I remember leaving the building like, all right, goodbye, see you in a couple of weeks. And then it's yeah. in two months. All right. <clears throat> what is something that gets you moving in the morning? <clears throat> Coffee and my dog. <laughs> yes. Yeah. My dog want, needs those morning walks, so... If it weren't for her, I'd still be sleeping. Perfect. It's so, like somebody that's holding you accountable almost. Yeah, this, yep. this four-legged fur, furry creature is making me wake up and be accountable to exercise and, you know, the day. Um, what is a pet peeve of yours? I like uh, you. I have many. But I've got to say, one thing I really am starting to develop a pet peeve for is dismissive behavior. When people dismiss other people or dismiss their opinions, or whatever, without validating their emotions behind it, uh, dismissive, dismissive behavior. I would agree with that for sure. 
what is one of the sounds that you love? A sound that I love, and it, it goes back to my dog again, uh, the sounds she makes when she's sleeping. You know, when she's dreaming and she's barking and she's like her twitching. Dogs dream? <laughs> that sound. Oh, they do. They, do. They, night they have nightmares too, I think. Yeah, either <laughs> she's chasing something or something's chasing her. But I like to think that she's chasing something. So whenever I hear that, I quietly root for her. Go get it, Molly. Go get it. We can get it. Yeah. Uh, so on the flip side of that, then, what is a sound that you hate? Anything shrill or piercing. I just, uh, I, I, I don't do very well. You know, e even when we have those, um, the fire drills at school. Oh, I have to plug my ears. Yeah, those sounds wow. are very uh, unsettling. Mm. <clears throat> Um, and what is another profession that you think you would like to attempt? Uh, I would love radio. Oh, yeah, oh. I can see that. I'm kind of I'm kinda yes, looking this oh. YouTube thing. And, you know, I think I, I've been told since I started the YouTube stuff, yeah, you've got the personality for it. I think I would love radio, except they wake up really, really early. Like, I'm thinking, yeah. them, you know, but yeah, I think I could do radio. No, yes, definitely. I think I agree. I think you could too. Um, what is one profession that you would not like to do? Uh, this might sound silly, but I would not want to be a tour guide at like mm. a tourist place because then you're saying the same over, oh, over again, <laughs> same jokes with the crowd, same everything. No time to explore anything new. So I think tour guide is not one for me. No, very true. Um, and lastly, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? There she is. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, I think. Be really cool. Yeah. Yep. No, that, that, that sounds right about. Well, thank you, Miss Dawson. Thank you, Mr. A, for doing thank this. You. Uh, just to all readers watching this and all staff, this is something we hope to do regularly. Please send us any topics you'd like us to discuss, either email Ms. Dawson, email Mr. Asiyama, or email me, and we will uh, talk about it. And the reason we like this is we've got the, the CYC background, we've got the social work background, and of course the, the spiritual background. So we're concerned about the whole person. So send us anything, uh, any topics you'd like us to address, and that will be our focus for the videos. All right. Thank you, Ms. Dawson. Thank you, Mr. A. Have a great day. Thank Bye. you. Okay, Bye. you have, keep well.